We're standing here on the corner of Route 100 and Route 30 in Exton. For over a quarter of a century, business people, government leaders have been trying to take away the traffic congestion. The Exton Bypass is going to be a permanent solution to a long-standing problem. Not only will it relieve the congestion here in Exton, it will offer a long-term solution to the problem of providing jobs in an area that is not now developed. Senator Spector has gone to great lengths to help us get the Exton Bypass funding in place. He made a personal trip down here to view the congestion, to see what's going on in Chester County, to see the need for the Exxon Bypass. It's going to open up a, an area of the county that is in dire need of economic development. In order to get something done, you've got to be involved. And Arlen Specter has been involved in this project. He's been up, he's looked at the scene, he's seen the traffic, he's heard the honking of horns, he saw the problem, and he went and did something about it. The things you care about are the very things he's fighting for. One of the things I really like about um, farming the way we do is that it, it is a family um, thing. Agriculture in Pennsylvania is the number one industry to the Commonwealth, and we have been faced with several very serious challenges to our agricultural position here. The avian flu was particularly um, devastating on our farm, and it was good to see somebody like Senator Specter come and be concerned. With the problems that we had with avian influenza in 1984 and now again with Salmonella aetaridius in 1992. Senator Specter has been particularly responsive to all the needs that we have brought to his attention and it's been critical that we have a man in Washington who is able to do so. We just think that having people like Senator Specter who understand farming will certainly help our next generation and I think that is important. I frankly don't know what we do without his help. The things you care about are the very things he's fighting for. Cutting through red tape uh, is very difficult. It's an extremely difficult process. In, in my case, it would have taken too long to get through. I wouldn't, I would have died. She was down to 80 pounds, she couldn't eat, and would not be helped unless she had this medication. Somehow we had to find a way to get this medication into the country because the FDA had not yet approved it. And we called Senator Arlen Inspector, And he said not to worry. The uh, medication would be in Cindy's room the next day by noon. And the next day by noon it was there. He came through for me or I wouldn't be here today. I needed Cindy to live. If not for me because I was selfish and wanted her to live. But certainly for her, do her daughter, my granddaughter. The things you care about are the very things he's fighting for. When you're told you have cancer, it's disbelief and shock, and you think it's happening to someone else. As a victim of breast cancer, I, I can tell you that um, it doesn't just affect the person who has breast cancer. It truly affects the whole family. I'm impressed with what Arlen Specter has done in Washington to help our cause. He has been very effective in trying to get extra money appropriated for breast cancer and other cancer research. We would like to find out why people get breast cancer and find a cure. We need somebody like Senator Specter to push things along. And I really think he understands uh, what goes on in, in the, with the fears of, of women and, and how we've kind of had to take a back seat to other funding for health issues. I really feel that, that we're going to need Senator Specter. The things you care about are the very things he's fighting for. As a business owner in this valley, transportation access is very important to open up this area uh, for expansion and for progress. Many businessmen did not want to uh, come to the Mon Valley because of the problems of getting in and out of this area. I think that the involvement of Senator Specter in the Mon Valley Expressway enables our area to market itself better to key market areas such as Pittsburgh and the rest of the state. This industrial park is an example of what's being developed in conjunction with the Mon Valley Expressway. We're looking for progress for the future. People like Senator Specter are obviously a very important part of that. Through uh, the leadership 
of Senator Specter and the late Senator Hines, this will ensure a future for the citizens of the Mon Valley. This is the kind of help we need, and I'm sure we'll continue to have that help as long as we have Senator Specter in our corner. The things you care about are the very things he's fighting for. Different way of life working on the river. I got a family, you know, kids are feeding that, and anybody that's willing to go out to keep things like that straight is good, you know. If they didn't have the locks, they wouldn't have barges loaded with coal, and we wouldn't have a job. The river is a support to almost 48,000 jobs within the Pittsburgh area. Senator Specter has, in the past, worked very hard to make the improvements on the river, so he really understands the needs of this area. For a good number of years, he worked with John Hines with the improvements of the locks. He has worked so hard for the western part of Pennsylvania in the improvement of the waterways in the locks and dams that we feel that without him, we would lose a lot within this area. Jobs are tough to find. So in that way, it's good that somebody's trying to keep the waterways open and cleaner because there's a lot of people out there that depend on it. The things you care about are the very things he's fighting for. In order to maintain and, and have an industry to come in and create more jobs, you have to have a better highway system and things so the trucks and the cars and things can get better access to it. If you were here long enough, what you'd see behind me is an area that totally gridlocks. The citizens of this area have been trying to get a bypass through here since 1962. The accident bypass is going to be a permanent solution to a long-standing problem. The Exton Bypass will open up the whole area from Philadelphia to Lancaster. Senator Specter has gone to great lengths to help us get the Exton Bypass funding in place. He made a personal trip down here to view the congestion, to see what's going on in Chester County, to see the need for the Exton Bypass. In the midst of the recession that we're in now, what Pennsylvania needs most is jobs. This highway project will create a lot of jobs. In order to get something done, you've got to be involved. And Arlen Specter has been involved in this project. He saw the problem, and he went and did something about it. The things you care about are the very things he's fighting for. I don't think it's so much that they should like pull money out of their pockets for us, you know, but at least show us a little bit of respect for what we've done. My concerns with the closing of the surgical units at uh, Lebanon and Altoona was because of our veterans having so far to travel to get taken care of if they needed surgery. When the veterans took exception to the announcement that was made, Senator Specter was one of the first to let us, let us know that he was going to bat for us. It was to the work of Arlen Specter that the uh, surgical units would not be closed at Altoona and at uh, Lebanon. I have found Senator Specter to be a friend of the veterans. And to me, that's the most important thing. As a veteran, uh, any time that we have come to uh, Specter with our problems. He would listen and do something about it. The things you care about are the very things he's fighting for. The shipyard has given me a great deal and uh, I can't see just idly sitting by and watch the shipyard go down a drain. I just can't do that. My life revolves around the Navy Yard. I've been working here for 14 years. I bring my son here. There's Roughly 7,500 employees working at the shipyard, blue collar workers. And if you know the Philadelphia shipyard should close, you know, we're gonna lose a lot of jobs and just the ripple effect through, throughout the community would be devastating to the city of Philadelphia. Our inspector's been doing a hell of a job down here for the Philadelphia Naval Shipyard and for the city of Philadelphia. With Senator Arlen Inspector behind us and some of the other congressmen, we looks like we have a chance of keeping the shipyard open. Senator Specter's always been, you know, in the forefront of fighting for the shipyard. Uh, He's not afraid of a fight. The lawsuit's just one of the examples of how, you know, he's determined, you know, to make something work, and he's going to do everything within his power to make it work. And as, as long as I've known him, he's always been that way. The things you care about are the very things he's fighting for. Senator Island Specter's been fighting to keep jobs here in South Central Pennsylvania. In Lancaster, he's helped a high-tech company grow, creating new jobs. And when Armstrong Industries' 6,800 jobs were being threatened by foreign corporate raiders, he helped support our fight to keep those jobs here. Unfortunately, his opponent in the Republican primary did not. That's why I'm supporting Arlen Specter, because he's always fought for jobs for us.
The things you care about are the very things he's fighting for. The shipyard has given me a great deal, and uh, I can't see just idly sitting by and watch the shipyard go down a drain. I just can't do that. Senator Specter has been a, a very strong supporter of the shipyard. He's been a fighter and came through every time we ever had a problem here. I think Arlen Specter's about the only real hope we have of stopping this action against the shipyard. The things you care about are the very things he's fighting for. It's too bad 16-year incumbent Steve Friend doesn't take his job seriously enough to even show up to vote. This year, he's missed over 90% of votes cast, but he's collected all his paychecks and perks. Steve Friend didn't take the State Ethics Commission seriously either when they nailed him for spending our tax dollars on his law practice and re-election campaigns. In fact, he's refused to give the money back. Steve Friend's part of the problem, not the solution. On April 28th, vote for Senator Arlen Specter. It's a very hard thing to face when you're a close family and you you come up with all these problems and it just seems like there's nobody out there that cares. I was mad. Uh, things kept getting worse. After Vietnam, George was being treated at the, the VA hospital where he was given a contaminant medication. I have been to several local offices for help and actually got nowhere. After Senator Specter got involved, it was a whole new ball game. Senator Specter took time to actually come to our home. Not 10 minutes after Senator Specter left my home, he used his car phone and called Washington, D.C., and Washington, D.C. called my home. Senator Specter will not pass the buck. If he says he is going to do something for you, it is done. And I could not thank this man enough for any way for what he has done. It's too bad that 16-year incumbent state legislator Steve Friend doesn't take his job seriously enough to even show up to vote. This year alone, Steve Friend missed over 90% of all legislative votes cast, but he's collected all his paychecks and perks. Steve Friend didn't take the State Ethics Commission seriously either when they nailed him for spending our tax dollars on his law practice and re-election campaigns. In fact, he's refused to give the money back. Steve Friend's part of the problem, not the solution. We are losing too many women to this disease, and we must save ourselves. Thank As you a breast much. cancer survivor, I've spent more than a decade fighting for more funding for cancer research. Senator Arlen Specter has been one of the strongest allies in this fight. He helped to fund a major study on diseases affecting women. Before that, he helped increase cancer research funding and made breast, cervical, ovarian, and prostate cancers top priorities. Arlen Specter cares about these issues, and his record proves it. Nobody has fought harder to bring critical federal funding for health care and other social programs to Pennsylvania than Senator Arlen Specter. Arlen Specter was instrumental in securing funds for drug treatment programs, and he left the fight for the Healthy Start Initiative, which provides pre- and postnatal care to mothers and their children. Senator Specter has fought for programs that help senior citizens, veterans, and all Pennsylvania families. Arlen Specter is an independent voice, and I respect him for that. Right now I'm standing on the lot where my house used to be. Um, in 1987, we found that we were living in uh, toxic waste. We were shocked, scared, worried about our children. It was discovered by the Environmental Protection Agency that the neighborhood was contaminated by lead as a result of the activities conducted by a former battery reclamation plant. The immediate response from the officials was that there was no problem. The only two that responded to me when I wrote to them was Senator Hines and Senator Arlen Inspector. Senator Inspector was here many times, and he helped us. One of the more specific things that he did was to make sure that this was cleaned up responsibly. It's a definite asset to have a tough man like Senator Arlen Inspector to knock the cobwebs off of the rockers of the people in Washington, to keep people on their toes, to let us know that there's somebody back there fighting for us. 
if we let the steel industry go the way it is, uh, there's a lot more jobs that are going to be lost. The steel industry is everything for me. It's the only job I, my wife, family, the kids, the dog, everybody depends on it. When Senator Hines and Arlen Specter worked as a team, they were able to get VRAs passed to protect the foreign dumping of steel in America. Senator Hines, unfortunately, is no longer with us. So now we need a person with guts who can go in and tell the president this is wrong. We need to have VRAs to help protect from the dumping of steel in Pennsylvania. Arlen Specter has that determination. I have 15 years in the steel industry, and if Arlen Specter can help me get 15 more, it'd be nice. Arlen Specter is not afraid to stand up for what he believes. And if the president is wrong, he'll tell him. And when he tells them, he's sending a message that means jobs here in Pennsylvania. When we first heard that, or realized that my mother was coming down with Alzheimer's, our, I guess our first reaction was denial. All of a sudden, she couldn't remember things. She couldn't remember what day it was or what time of day it was. That's what was so frightening. Probably by the year 2020, the numbers of patients who will have severe Alzheimer's disease is going to break the bank. General health care has to be improved, but particularly, I think, Alzheimer's, which is so recognizable and has a devastating effect not only in the person but the whole family. I'm grateful that Senator Specter has had a role in the significant expansion of monies to battle Alzheimer's disease and to help not only the patients but their spouses and their children. We do need somebody like Senator Specter fighting for funds for Alzheimer's research. I think we need someone to fight for us and I think Arlen Specter will and I think he has shown that in the past. When we first heard that or realized that my mother was coming down with Alzheimer's our, I guess our first reaction was denial. General health care has to be improved, but particularly, I think, Alzheimer's, which has a devastating effect not only in the person but the whole family. We do need somebody like Senator Specter fighting for funds for Alzheimer's research. And I think Arlen Specter will. And I think he has shown that in the past. My father was a veteran. He served the country for 27 years. He was in two wars. He was exposed to asbestos in the Navy as a young man. Later, it developed into asbestosis. Because of his condition, he needed an oxygen machine, and he needed it right away. It was difficult for us to get him help through the VA. It was unbelievable, the red tape, the form letters. Our last straw was to call our inspector. Now, I didn't believe or even dream that he'd help us because he was a Republican, and he was from Philadelphia. But I'm, I'm here to tell you that it was like lightning crashing through the sky here in Trafford when that oxygen machine was delivered promptly. He got the help he needed, and he's still here with us today. You don't want to get a form letter and that takes three months to get a reply. You want somebody that gets a job done. You want, to, you want somebody that is not afraid to ruffle some feathers, who will go right after and get what you need. And Arlen Specter is that way. I mean, you have a problem, he'll do every, He'll roll up his sleeves, and he'll do whatever he has to do to get you some help. My father was a veteran. He served the country for 27 years. He was in two wars. He was exposed to asbestos in the Navy. Because of his condition, he needed an oxygen machine. It was difficult for us to get him help through the VA. It was unbelievable, the red tape, the form letters. I called our inspector's office as a last ditch effort to help my father. And that afternoon, it was like lightning crashing through the sky here in Trafford. The oxygen machine was delivered. He got the help he needed, and he's still here with us today. The shipyard has given me a great deal, and uh, I can't see just idly sitting by and watch the shipyard go down a drain. I just can't do that. The Navy Yard has been my whole life. I came here fresh out of college, uh, uh, married, raised four children, and the shipyard supported that life. The closing of the shipyard would be a severe impact on, on the, uh, the whole city, because there are so many people associated with the yard. I'm worried about how I'm going to feed my kids. I've been down here for about six months working steady, and it doesn't look too good. There is too much of the following the cattle uh, in Washington. We need people who are going to stand up and speak up for what's right and fight for it. And Senator Specter is doing just that. 
senator, our inspector, never gives up. He's a fighter, and he fights for what he believes is right. And what he's doing here at the shipyard is right. He's been doing something about it since he's been in politics. It's about time we had somebody come in that's going to fight for us. The Navy Yard has been my whole life. I came here fresh out of college, uh, uh, married, raised four children, and the shipyard supported that life. The closing of the shipyard would be a severe impact on the, uh, the whole city because there are so many people associated with the yard. Senator, our inspector never gives up. He's a fighter and he fights for what he believes is right. And what he's doing here at the shipyard is right. We need people who are going to stand up and fight for it. And Senator Specter is doing just that. When Senator Hines and Arlen Specter worked as a team, they were able to get VRAs passed to protect the foreign dumping of steel in America. Senator Hines, unfortunately, is no longer with us. So now we need a person who can go in and tell the president we need to have VRAs. Arlen Specter has that determination. And if the president is wrong, he'll tell him. And when he tells them, he's sending a message that means jobs here in Pennsylvania. It's no secret that drugs and violent crime are ravaging many of our families and neighborhoods. And despite the fact that President Bush and Governor Clinton may not agree on much, they both support capital punishment. Senator Arlen Specter does too. They're facing reality. They all know that capital punishment is an important tool in the war on drugs and violent crime. Lynn Yackel is against capital punishment, even for drug kingpins. Doesn't that concern you? For 10 straight years, Lynn Yackel failed to pay Philadelphia wage, school, and other taxes, totaling over $17,000. But she did remember to pay up the day before she announced her candidacy for the United States Senate. The Philadelphia Daily News wondered how Yackel could have overlooked something so basic for so long. The Philadelphia Inquirer asked, was she being crafty or just sloppy? Doesn't that concern you? For 10 years, Lynn Yackel failed to pay thousands in Philadelphia wage, school, and other taxes. This is what she did. Yackel worked in Philadelphia as president of Women's Way. She was obligated to pay the wage tax. She didn't. Instead, her paychecks went to a shell corporation, Lynn H. Yackel Inc., which was located in Yackel's home in the suburbs. When did she finally pay up? The day before she announced for the Senate. Maybe that's why the Philadelphia Inquirer asked if she was being crafty or just sloppy. Obviously, jobs are important, but income from jobs can be wiped away by a sick child, catastrophic illness, or parents who need long-term health care. We need care for all Americans, but it better be affordable, accessible, and it better provide for the long-term needs of every American. I've worked hard on the Appropriations Committee to add extra dollars for research on Alzheimer's disease, breast cancer, mental illness, diabetes, and I've introduced legislation and co-sponsored legislation which works toward affordable health care for all Americans. And I've taken a lead on the Senate floor to insist that health care be brought up this year. Am I satisfied with what's come out of Washington on health care so far? Absolutely not. But I'm prepared to do what it takes to provide comprehensive, affordable health care for every American. It ought to be a fundamental right, not a privilege for the wealthy few. I'm Teresa Hines. I don't think you can agree with any senator on every issue. And I certainly didn't agree with our inspector during the Clarence Thomas hearings. Nevertheless, I am supporting him. Arlen and my husband John made a very strong team for Pennsylvania for over 10 years. Arlen's long-standing commitment to women's rights, human rights, civil rights, to jobs and to health is one we cannot afford to lose. And that's why I'm supporting him. I'm Teresa Hines. My husband John spent his life fighting for Pennsylvania, and he was proud to have our inspector with him. They understood the issues facing Pennsylvania, and they made a good team. And they were both willing to stand up and to fight any administration if they thought that was right for Pennsylvania. John is no longer with us, 
but their partnership and their independence was something that Pennsylvanians truly valued. So let's keep the other partner, our inspector, fighting for us. I'm Teresa Hines. My husband John had a game plan for Western Pennsylvania. He and our inspector worked for 10 years on the problems facing this region. Jobs, workers and communities, roads and bridges, locks and dams. But he didn't complete his work. Ireland knows this region, and he's seen it through my husband's eyes. And he knows what remains undone. That's why it's important to elect our inspector to follow through on that game plan. My husband, John Hines, is remembered by many as a champion of people's issues, particularly senior citizen issues. Getting Social Security off budget, fighting to control the cost of prescription drugs, but he didn't get to complete his work. And that's why I'm glad that our inspector has taken his seat in the Senate Committee on the Aging. Arlen has voted the right way for seniors. That's why we can't afford to lose him. I think the best thing to say about Arlen Spector is he's always been there. He's always been there whenever American coal mining families have needed help. Whenever our retirees were about to lose their health care, we asked for his help and he was there. Whenever the American worker asked to be protected against strikes and not be replaced during strikes, Arlen Specter was there. Whenever we asked for protection for our families on the Family Leave Act, he was there fighting for us to protect these jobs here in this area. I guess the best thing to say about him is he's always been there. Obviously, jobs are important. But income from jobs can be wiped away by a sick child, catastrophic illness, or parents who need long-term health care. We need care for all Americans, but it better be affordable, accessible, and it better provide for the long-term needs of every American. I've worked hard on the Appropriations Committee to add extra dollars for research on Alzheimer's disease, breast cancer, mental illness, diabetes, and I've introduced legislation co-sponsored legislation which works toward affordable health care for all Americans. And I've taken a lead on the Senate floor to insist that health care be brought up this year. Am I satisfied with what's come out of Washington on health care so far? Absolutely not. But I'm prepared to do what it takes to provide comprehensive, affordable health care for every American. It ought to be a fundamental right, not a privilege for the wealthy few. Obviously, jobs are important, but income from jobs can be wiped away by a sick child, catastrophic illness, or parents who need long-term health care. We need care for all Americans, but it better be affordable, accessible, and it better provide for the long-term needs of every American. I've worked hard on the Appropriations Committee to add extra dollars for research on Alzheimer's disease, breast cancer, mental illness, diabetes, and I've introduced legislation and co-sponsored legislation which works toward affordable health care for all Americans. And I've taken a lead on the Senate floor to insist that health care be brought up this year. Am I satisfied with what's come out of Washington on health care so far? Absolutely not. But I'm prepared to do what it takes to provide comprehensive, affordable health care for every American. It ought to be a fundamental right, not a privilege for the wealthy few. A big part of my job is to fight for the jobs of the working men and women of Pennsylvania. Mine workers, teachers, steel workers, construction workers, farmers, to help bring extended unemployment benefits when it's tough to get a job, to work hard to stop unfair foreign imports which are dumped or subsidized. And a lot of times I've had to take on the administration, and successfully too, because I know it's my job to fight for your job. It's no secret that drugs and violent crime are ravaging many of our families and neighborhoods. And despite the fact that President Bush and Governor Clinton may not agree on much, they both support capital punishment. Senator Arlen Specter does too. They're facing reality. They all know that capital punishment is an important tool in the war on drugs and violent crime. Lynn Yackel is against capital punishment, even for drug kingpins. Doesn't that concern you? 
For 10 straight years, Lynn Yackel failed to pay her Philadelphia wage taxes, totaling over $17,000. But she did remember to pay up the day before she announced her candidacy for the United States Senate. The Philadelphia Daily News wondered how Yackel could have overlooked something so basic for so long. The Philadelphia Inquirer asked, was she being crafty or just sloppy? Doesn't that concern you? For 10 years, Lynn Yackel failed to pay thousands in Philadelphia wage, school, and other taxes. This is what she did. Yackel worked in Philadelphia as president of Women's Way. She was obligated to pay the wage tax. She didn't. Instead, her paychecks went to a shell corporation, Lynn H. Yackel Inc., which was located in Yackel's home in the suburbs. When did she finally pay up? The day before she announced for the Senate. Maybe that's why the Philadelphia Inquirer asked if she was being crafty or just sloppy. I think the best thing to say about Arlen Specter is he's always been there. He's always been there whenever American coal mining families have needed help. Whenever our retirees were about to lose their health care, we asked for his help and he was there. Whenever the American worker asked to be protected against strikes and not be replaced during strikes, Arlen Specter was there. Whenever we asked for protection for our families on the Family Leave Act, he was there fighting for us to protect these jobs here in this area. I guess the best thing to say about him is he's always been there. A big part of my job is to fight for the jobs of the working men and women of Pennsylvania. Mine workers, teachers, steel workers, construction workers, farmers, to help bring extended unemployment benefits when it's tough to get a job. To work hard to stop unfair foreign imports which are dumped or subsidized. And a lot of times I've had to take on the administration, and successfully too, because I know it's my job to fight for your job. For 10 straight years, Lynn Yackel failed to pay Philadelphia wage, school, and other taxes, totaling over $17,000. But she did remember to pay up the day before she announced her candidacy for the United States Senate. The Philadelphia Daily News wondered how Yackel could have overlooked something so basic for so long. The Philadelphia Inquirer asked, was she being crafty or just sloppy? Doesn't that concern you? For 10 straight years, Lynn Yackel failed to pay Philadelphia wage, school, and other taxes, totaling over $17,000. But she did remember to pay up the day before she announced her candidacy for the United States Senate. The Philadelphia Daily News wondered how Yackel could have overlooked something so basic for so long. The Philadelphia Inquirer asked, was she being crafty or just sloppy? Doesn't that concern you? In a recent TV ad, we pointed out that for 10 straight years, Lynn Yackel failed to pay thousands in Philadelphia taxes. Finally, the day before she announced her candidacy for the Senate, she paid over $17,000 in back taxes, penalties, and interest. Yackel's response? A vicious personal attack on Arlen Specter. As independent political scientist Michael Young noted, Specter's TV ad deals with an issue on the public record. Hers is a personal attack. Lynn Yackel doesn't seem to know the difference. Doesn't that concern you? In a recent TV ad, we pointed out that for 10 straight years, Lynn Yackel failed to pay thousands in Philadelphia taxes. Finally, the day before she announced her candidacy for the Senate, she paid over $17,000 in back taxes, penalties, and interest. The Allentown Morning Call's Ad Watch said Arlen Specter raised a legitimate issue, but the Ad Watch called Yackel's rebuttal unfair, embarking on issueless personal attacks and a cheap shot. Doesn't that concern you? Recently, the League of Women Voters asked a cross-section of Pennsylvanians to serve on two separate citizens' juries and rate Lynn Yackel and Arlen Specter on three important issues for Pennsylvania's future, jobs, health care, and education. After spending four days each, the Western Pennsylvania jury rated Arlen Specter higher than Lynn Yackel on two out of the three issues, and the Eastern Pennsylvania jury rated Arlen Specter higher on all three issues. So on the issues Pennsylvanians care about, it's Arlen Specter, five to one.
In a recent TV ad, we pointed out that for 10 straight years, Lynn Yackel failed to pay thousands in Philadelphia taxes. Finally, the day before she announced her candidacy for the Senate, she paid over $17,000 in back taxes, penalties, and interest. The Allentown Morning Call's Ad Watch said Arlen Specter raised a legitimate issue, but the Ad Watch called Yackel's rebuttal unfair, embarking on issueless personal attacks and a cheap shot. Doesn't that concern you? During their recent debate, Lynn Yackel accused Arlen Specter of flip-flopping on an education bill. As the press stated, she was wrong. Arlen Specter did not flip-flop on the education bill. The example Yackel cited was not true. There were no facts behind it. The Yackel campaign admitted they were wrong and said the campaign would apologize, but that Yackel herself would not apologize. That's the same Lynn Yackel who refused to shake Arlen Specter's hand after the debate. Doesn't that concern you? During their recent debate, Lynn Yackel accused Arlen Specter of flip-flopping on an education bill. As the press stated, she was wrong. Arlen Specter did not flip-flop on the education bill. The example Yackel cited was not true. There were no facts behind it. The Yackel campaign admitted they were wrong and said the campaign would apologize, but that Yackel herself would not apologize. That's the same Lynn Yackel who refused to shake Arlen Specter's hand after the debate. Doesn't that concern you? Recently, the League of Women Voters asked a cross-section of Pennsylvanians to serve on two separate citizens' juries and rate Lynn Yackel and Arlen Specter on three important issues for Pennsylvania's future, jobs, health care, and education. After spending four days each, the Western Pennsylvania jury rated Arlen Specter higher than Lynn Yackel on two out of the three issues, and the Eastern Pennsylvania jury rated Arlen Specter higher on all three issues. So on the issues Pennsylvanians care about, it's Arlen Specter, five to one. October 10th, 1992. Today, Lynn Yackel's campaign held a waffle breakfast, so the candidate could make a case that Arlen Specter waffles on the issues. So the first question, cite an example of his waffling. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I hadn't picked out one in particular. Um, I think, let's see. Hang on a minute. Let me just think about that. you mind this for a second? If you've been thinking about Lynn Yackel, maybe you ought to think again. Some fundamental issues almost everyone agrees on, except Lynn Yackel. Arlen Specter, Bill Clinton, and George Bush favor employer-provided health coverage. Lynn Yackel wants government-run health care. Specter, Clinton, and Bush support capital punishment. Yackel's against it, even for drug kingpins. Specter, Clinton, and Bush want the line-item veto to reduce the deficit. Yackel doesn't. Specter, Clinton, and Bush favor teacher competency testing. Yackel first opposed it, now she says she's for it. On these fundamental issues, Arlen Specter's right. It may come as a surprise, but I spend a great deal of my time right here in Pennsylvania to stay in touch with the priorities so I can do a better job representing Pennsylvania in Washington. I've had over 400 open house town meetings where I have met with farmers, uh, with housewives, with veterans, with senior citizens, and sometimes I have to disagree with the president or the party to carry out the best interests of Pennsylvania. And that's what being a United States senator is all about. There is a need to help the heroes of America. That's what Senator Specter has done. He has fought for just about everything we've ever asked him. Whenever we've gone to Senator Specter, he has been there for us to help the veterans get proper medical care, to help the women veterans to get proper medical care. Yes, he's hard-nosed. We want someone that's hard-nosed. We want someone fighting for our veterans that we know we can depend on. And Senator Specter, we can depend on. Usually we support Democrats. This year we've endorsed Arn Inspector because Arn Inspector is fighting to create jobs. He's helped secure billions of dollars for road and bridge construction for Philadelphia, Pittsburgh, and all across Pennsylvania. That's not a political promise, that's a fact. And that means real jobs for Pennsylvanians. Arn Inspector knows that the important thing is not which party gets credit, it's getting the job done. And that's why we and a lot of other working Democrats are supporting Arn Inspector.
When Lynn Yackel stood in front of a closed store in Erie and blamed its closing on Arlen Specter, a reporter told her it was closed before Specter was a senator. Oh, well, then my information is bad. She even toyed with the idea of taxing Social Security and freezing colas. Then she accused Arlen Specter of being a waffler. When asked to cite an example of his waffling, she said, I think, let's see. Uh, hang on a minute. Let me just think about that. Do you mind this for a second? If she can't get her facts straight now, what's she going to do in Washington? I think the best thing to say about Arlen Specter is he's always been there. He's always been there whenever American coal mining families have needed help. Whenever our retirees were about to lose their health care, we asked for his help and he was there. Whenever the American worker asked to be protected against strikes and not be replaced during strikes, Arlen Specter was there. Whenever we asked for protection for our families on the Family Leave Act, he was there fighting for us to protect these jobs here in this area. I guess the best thing to say about him is he's always been there. I think the best thing to say about Arlen Specter is he's always been there. He's always been there whenever American coal mining families have needed help. Whenever our retirees were about to lose their health care, we asked for his help and he was there. Whenever the American worker asked to be protected against strikes and not be replaced during strikes, Arlen Specter was there. Whenever we asked for protection for our families on the Family Leave Act, he was there fighting for us to protect these jobs here in this area. I guess the best thing to say about him is he's always been there. A big part of my job is to fight for the jobs of the working men and women of Pennsylvania. Mine workers, teachers, steel workers, construction workers, farmers, to help bring extended unemployment benefits when it's tough to get a job, to work hard to stop unfair foreign imports which are dumped or subsidized. And a lot of times I've had to take on the administration, and successfully too, because I know it's my job to fight for your job. different way of life working on the river. I got a family, you know, kids are feeding that, and anybody that's willing to go out to keep things like that straight is good, you know. The river is a support to almost 48,000 jobs within the Pittsburgh area. Senator Specter has, in the past, worked very hard to make the improvements on the river. For a good number of years, he worked with John Hines. He has worked so hard for the western part of Pennsylvania that we feel that without him, we would lose a lot within this area. I remember when John Hines and Senator Specter worked to preserve our Social Security. And I can't believe that Lynn Yackel can consider taxing our Social Security. I mean, she's a millionaire who hasn't paid taxes for 10 years. You try that and see if you get away with it. I think that it's disgraceful that she even thinks about uh, monkeying around with Social Security. We know that this country is very concerned about universal health care, about increasing access of all of our citizens to health and health services. Arlen Specter has a superb bill right now in the Senate Finance Committee that offers all of these services to our people. It's in the health area that I think we have to look to the future. I'm a registered Democrat, but I'm for Arlen Specter for Senator of Pennsylvania. Our inspector's opponent is spending a fortune in last-minute, nasty, misleading ads. Six years ago, John defended Ireland against similar desperate attacks. John despised dirty negative campaigning, and so do I. It belittles the process, it insults us, the voters, and it's a shame. Don't let them pull the mud over your eyes. Pennsylvania needs a knowledgeable, independent senator. John was such a man, and Ireland is too. And that's why we especially need him now. I remember when John Hines and Senator Specter worked to preserve our Social Security. And I can't believe that Lynn Yackel can consider taxing our Social Security. I mean, she's a millionaire who hasn't paid taxes in Philadelphia for 10 years. You try that and see if you get away with it. I think that it's disgraceful that she even thinks about uh, monkeying around with Social Security. 
I really feel that, that we're going to need Senator Specter. Senator Specter was instrumental in creating the Office of Research on Women's Health. Arlen Inspector is fighting to create jobs. In order to get something done, you've got to be involved, and Arlen Specter has been involved. Arlen Inspector, I like his independence. And if the president is wrong, he'll tell him. And Senator Specter, we can depend on. You'll go right after and get what you need. I think the best thing to say about Arlen Specter is he's always been there. That's why we can't afford to lose him. I really feel that, that we're going to need Senator Specter. Senator Specter was instrumental in creating the Office of Research on Women's Health. Arlen Specter is fighting to create jobs. In order to get something done, you've got to be involved, and Arlen Specter has been involved. Arlen Specter, I like his independence. And if the president is wrong, he'll tell him. And Senator Specter, we can depend on. You'll go right after and get what you need. I think the best thing to say about Arlen Specter is he's always been there. That's why we can't afford to lose him. I really feel that, that we're going to need Senator Specter. Senator Specter was instrumental in creating the Office of Research on Women's Health. Arlen Inspector is fighting to create jobs. In order to get something done, you've got to be involved, and Arlen Specter has been involved. Arlen Inspector, I like his independence. And if the president is wrong, he'll tell him. And Senator Specter, we can depend on. He'll go right after and get what you need. I think the best thing to say about Arlen Specter is he's always been there. That's why we can't afford to lose him. I really feel that, that we're going to need Senator Specter. Senator Specter was instrumental in creating the Office of Research on Women's Health. Arlen Inspector is fighting to create jobs. In order to get something done, you've got to be involved, and Arlen Specter has been involved. Arlen Inspector, I like his independence. And if the president is wrong, he'll tell him. And Senator Specter, we can depend on. He'll go right after and get what you need. I think the best thing to say about Arlen Specter is he's always been there. That's why we can't afford to lose him. I really feel that, that we're going to need Senator Specter. Senator Specter was instrumental in creating the Office of Research on Women's Health. Arlen Specter is fighting to create jobs. In order to get something done, you've got to be involved, and Arlen Specter has been involved. Arlen Specter, I like his independence. And if the president is wrong, he'll tell him. And Senator Specter, we can depend on. He'll go right after and get what you need. I think the best thing to say about Arlen Specter is he's always been there. That's why we can't afford to lose him. I really feel that, that we're going to need Senator Specter. Senator Specter was instrumental in creating the Office of Research on Women's Health. Arlen Inspector is fighting to create jobs. In order to get something done, you've got to be involved, and Arlen Specter has been involved. Arlen Inspector, I like his independence. And if the president is wrong, he'll tell him. And Senator Specter, we can depend on. He'll go right after and get what you need. I think the best thing to say about Arlen Specter is he's always been there. That's why we can't afford to lose him.